Welcome to the start of my new series appropriately named The Importance of. Quick tips. You guys saw the title, you know what we're doing today. How often do we as players overlook the on fire future because I know I am one that's guilty of this. And in fact, this tool might be even more handy than you thought before. And although this is a personal ego booster being on fire MVP, it can actually put a huge red target on your back if noticed by a witty opponent. Now this isn't entirely the case 100% of the time, but it can definitely point you in the right direction when it comes to identifying your priority target. So step one is to know your target. Knowing your target can come in many different forms. He could be that Roadhog that's consistently hooking and killing your support heroes. It could be the Genji that's had a sixth Dragon Blade in under two minutes. Your priority target is the Sombra that keeps hacking your Reinhardt so he can't block for your team. Your priority target is really just the one that's being a super big pain in your team's neck. Now not everybody is going to be your priority. Your priority target is not the Lucio that hasn't gotten a single ult this entire game. And it's not the enemy who hasn't been on fire for a single second in this whole match. Lastly, your priority target is, to be blunt, not the enemy that just really flat out sucks. So if your team is targeting that Lucio that hasn't got out a single ultimate this whole game, there's really no point in trying to get that whole team effort to kill him when he's really not doing anything for his team. Although picking up a kill like a Lucio could be good, he is not necessarily the priority target in this case scenario. If you're having trouble identifying who the priority target is, just take a look at the composition roster and see who's on fire. That should point you in the right direction. The second step for priority targets is killing your target. It's not a wasted ult if you solo pulse bomb that Genji that's had seven dragon blades by now. And it's most certainly not a wasted ult if you use it to kill their mercy that has res. This is good. Killing priority targets can tremendously help out the rest of your team. So don't be afraid to solo ult an enemy that's been kicking some serious ass. Solo ult that motherfucker. Another good method of killing the priority target is switching to counters. If your priority target turns out to be a Winston who's been on fire, he's he's had seven ults, you know, he's targeting your support heroes, try switching to a reaper. Of course, knowing your counters really helps out in this case scenario, but when you switch to a reaper and you shut that monkey's momentum down, he's gonna take note of that and eventually switch off the monkey. And this is gonna take pressure off the rest of the team. There's no more monkey targeting your supports, there's no more monkey knocking you guys out of the point with his ultimates. Knowing your counters and switching to counters when appropriate can really help kill the priority target. And of course, Killing the priority target takes teamwork. I do find Zenyatta to be particularly helpful when it comes to this because he's got his discord with good team effort can quite seriously drop enemies very quickly. What you don't want to do is blow your ult on someone who really just sucks. As I mentioned, it's okay to be solo ulting somebody who's doing some serious ass kicking, but don't waste your ultimates on someone who sucks. Don't waste or solo ult someone who isn't helping out their team. There's really no use in killing that Lucio if he'd rather just be skating around the map than healing his team. Thanks for watching an episode of the TIO Quick Tip series. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing to watch more episodes to come. Until next time, I'm Unlike Ike. Goodbye.